As you can see, getting results is not that hard. It's all about getting creative on the different social media platforms that we use every single day. Welcome back to another video. My name is Adam Kirk and today we're going to talk about how to get your home off the market in a crisis such as the one that we're in now. Whether you are a for sale by owner, an agent who wants to help a client, or someone who just loves real estate, then stick around because this video is gonna be jam packed full of information that you can use today. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I'm going to personally give you guys a resource for free that's gonna show you how to implement these strategies immediately so that you don't have to spend a couple hours online researching how to put them into place. So let's jump right in. But before we do, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button just down below, and check the description for other ways to follow me on social media. This way you're kept up to date on real estate, market trends, property tours, and really what it means to be a real estate agent here in San Diego, California. So today we're gonna to be covering three topics, three strategies that are absolutely vital in a time like this. We're gonna talk about Facebook and Instagram, how to utilize the different features and tools that they have to get our home into the community without paying a dime. Next up, we're gonna talk about Facebook advertising, how to build and run a very basic Facebook ad that still is going to get you results without breaking the bank. And lastly, we're gonna talk about how to do somewhat of a virtual open house, where you can take your buyer through your home, show them the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the outdoor space, all while staying indoors using software like Skype, Facebook, and Zoom. So let's talk social media. We'll start with Instagram. I'm gonna show you how to get your home in front of thousands of eyes in your area all without spending a dime. We are going to use hashtags and locations, two features that oftentimes go unnoticed on platforms like Facebook and Instagram. So I'm gonna jump on my phone and you guys can see exactly how to execute this process. Here we are on my iPad home screen. I would use my phone, but it's actually the one who's filming me. So we're gonna start by tapping here on Instagram and opening it up. Okay, now first things first, we're gonna go ahead and tap on the search bar just down here to the bottom left. So when we tap search, you're gonna see top accounts, tags, and places. What we're gonna be using today is tags and places because tag stands for hashtags, places is different locations, right? So what tags means is anyone who puts this tag under their post will pop up on this newsfeed. So if I tap on home for sale, this has 1.4 million posts. So if you check this out, as you can see, it's very broad because it is global, um, just homes for sale without any kind of location. But we want a little bit more of a specific demographic, so we're gonna go back here, and we're gonna do home for sale in San Diego. Now if you wanna create your own, all you have to do is type up here and create your own hashtag. You can get creative with San Diego real estate, you know, San Diego home, uh, home for sale San Diego, right? So we're gonna go ahead and tap on this guy right here, so this is hashtag home for sale San Diego. So we're gonna go and scroll through, and as you can see, there's over a thousand posts. These are different agents, these are different for sale by owners, and I mean, like look at this, this is super cute, right? So anyone who's looking to buy a home is gonna come here under this tag, right? Now these are all great, but let's try and do a search that's a little bit more specific. So home for sale San Diego is good, but San Diego is a very, very big place. So we are gonna go back over here and tap on places. Now with places, you can put in different locations. So for this example, we're gonna do Pacific Beach. Okay, so if we tap on this, we go to recent. As you can see, everyone who posted in Pacific Beach is going to pop up on this newsfeed. This is where we wanna be, especially if our home is in Pacific Beach, right? So now that you see what these different tags and places mean, we're gonna go ahead and post a photo. So we're gonna tap on the plus button here at the bottom. So I have already put in a photo here. As you can see, this is a gorgeous home. We're gonna click next, no need for a filter. And then this is where you can list the price, um, the bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage and whatnot. But for this example, I'm just gonna write, see where it says add location. We're gonna go ahead and go add location. Now we're gonna use, if your home is in Pacific Beach, let's add Pacific Beach. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna pop up in that. Now if you are, you know, if you wanna market your home to Del Mar or La Jolla, put the location there and anyone in that area is gonna see it, right? And then lastly, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna put in our hashtags. 
So we're going to do hashtag uh, home for sale San Diego. So now when people are looking in specific locations or on that hashtag home for sale San Diego, this post will pop up. You don't need to be following them. They don't need to be following you. Your post will still pop up, therefore getting your post in front of thousands of more people. So that is how we utilize Instagram. Next up, we're going to talk about Facebook. Now, Facebook is a great platform, and when it comes to posts, you can use the exact same strategies that Instagram has to offer because they have the same features with those hashtags and locations. But Facebook also has one of the biggest sales platforms in the world with Facebook Marketplace. Now, this is a place where you can go and post your skateboard, maybe your chair that you want to sell, maybe your computer, or your home. It really depends on what you want to do, but in this case, we're going to be selling our home. So we are going to jump over to Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to show you how to create a listing. Okay, so now we are back in my home screen and we're going to go ahead and tap on Facebook. We'll go right here, check those notifications. Okay, so we're going to tap on the menu, okay? If you scroll down, you'll see Marketplace at one, two, three, four, five. So five down, you're going to tap on Marketplace. So here is Facebook Marketplace, as you can see, I mean, they sell all kinds of miscellaneous different things, um, but in this case, we're gonna be doing a home, so we're gonna click on sell at the top left. Now, you can do items, vehicles, homes for sale or rent and jobs. They actually have a category for what we're doing, so we're gonna tap on this guy right here. So we're gonna add our photo. Now, what's cool about this is you can add 20 photos, one of 20, right? So you can add a lot of photos here. So you can really, really, you know, show people um, the home and let them get a sense of the size and the quality and the, you know, the different colors and whatnot. So that is going to be a great feature to have. So we're going to click on this guy, home for sale. Next up, title. Um, we're just going to put in home. Uh, actually, you know what? For the title, yeah, we'll just do home for sale. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of this and then I'll, I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so now we're back. I went ahead and filled this out. Now for the property address, you don't have to fill that out. In fact, you might want to just have someone reach out to you. You can get them on the phone and if you trust them, maybe they can come by the house then, but you don't have to fill that out. So keep property address private. We're going to go ahead and tap on this. Okay, property description. You can put in, you know, gorgeous home right here in Pacific Beach right on the water, the sun sets, you know, you can give them uh, almost a feeling as if they're there. This is a great place to utilize. Um, I know that it takes some time, but it's gonna be worth it when you can get that home sold. So now we're gonna go down here. We have square feet, laundry type, uh, parking type, air conditioning, heating. I mean, it really is extremely uh, specific with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these guys out and then I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, so we're back. So I filled it out. Obviously for you, you'd want to add the 20 pictures. You put it in for sale, home for sale. Um, all of these have different options that you can see. But I mean, this is a listing and it's free. Of course, it's not going to get as much traction as something like the MLS, but desperate times call for desperate measures. So here's the layout. And now that we've posted it right here, and I'll let you guys take a look. It is really pretty, pretty fun to be honest, to, to fill all this out. So once we've done this, we're now going to click on next. Now look at this, once you post it, you don't just have to do Marketplace. You can do different Facebook groups that you're in as well, so they'll see that too, which is really awesome. So you could do San Diego Classifieds, San Diego Buy and Sell, Craigslist San Diego, and really get creative with this. And then you'll go ahead and tap Publish in the bottom right corner, and it's up. So that is how you get your home on Facebook Marketplace and really create your own free listing um, to get your home out there into the community. All right, so there is how you do Facebook. So we've talked about Instagram tags, locations. We've talked about Facebook, how to use Marketplace, which is probably my favorite tactic in this. So now I'm gonna jump on my computer so you guys can see exactly how to run a Facebook advertisement. Okay, welcome to my Facebook business page. Like I said, it's super easy to create. I'm sure that there's plenty of tutorials for you guys. I would I would show you guys, but to be honest, it's so easy that you know I'm sure that you guys can figure it out. It'll probably take you, you know, five to ten minutes. So now that we have our Facebook business page, which is just like a profile, but a profile that you can run advertisements on. So you're going to go ahead, when you create this post on your business page, you're going to see this option right here that says boost post. So we're actually going to click on this guy right here. There it is, you guys, not so scary, right? And pretty cool, to be honest. This platform is always, um, always updating and always looks really good. So what is our goal? Get more people to react, comment, and share. Absolutely. Connect and chat with potential customers. 
This is not necessarily for a home. Uh, this is probably, I mean, you, you could do one or the other. I've just had more success with get more people to react, comment, and share. Because uh, we want to get that home out there as much as possible. For instance, if Sally sees it, she might share with her friend Becky, who's looking to buy a home in Pacific Beach, right? Now, as for add your button post. So see this guy right here? This affects that. So you can do learn more, shop now, book now, sign up, get directions, send message. So we're going to do send message. So if they see this advertisement and they love the home, then they can actually click on this and it will take them right to your messenger where they can shoot you over a quick you know, personal message. It'll pop up. It's not like an email where it's going to get lost. You can see it. Someone might say, you know, hey, I love your home. I would love to jump on a phone call. And then you can go from there. So we're going to change it. Like I said before, I've had my most success with this guy here, uh, send message. And then I would change this ad text a little bit if I were you guys. You're going to want to do something a little bit more detailed. This is pretty broad. I would still keep it short, but you're going to want to add things like the square footage and the location. So now that we have our ad text done, we have our button done. Now we're going to go ahead and scroll down here. So you can edit your welcome message, right? So set up a welcome experience. People see a messenger after they click on your ad. So if they click on send message, it's going to bring them to this page right here. So, uh, hi, Adam, please let me know if I can help you. So we're going to change this, right? So if they click on send message, if they see this advertisement, if someone sees this ad in Del Mar and they love the home and they click send message, this is automatically going to send over. Hi there. Would you like more information on the home? Right? So we're, we're already getting that, that lead off to a good start. So we are going to, we're going to stay away from special ad category. That's for more complex campaigns. Now we're going to go down here and we're going to edit our area, right? We'll do 25. Uh, 25 to 65 and up, right? For those empty nesters who want to go get a home on the, you know, home on the beach. Uh, we're going to add locations. So we're going to do La Jolla, California. We'll do Del Mar, California, right? And then what you can do, Del Mar, California. So you like, as you can see, when I type in a location, it's going to drop a pin within 25 mile radius. We're going to drop it down to, we'll do 10 miles because those are, those are both pretty small areas, but they're higher end and that might be a good place where a buyer is. So you can get creative depending on your location. If you're in, you know, over in Santee, you could do El Cajon. If you're in downtown, you could do Hillcrest. Um, so you can get, you know, creative here. So as you can see, it's really not rocket science. You can get creative with different areas uh, to post your home using advertising. Uh, and then you can change up the mileage. You can change up, uh, you know, the age and really get specific with your demographic depending on where you are. Okay. And for the final step, you actually don't have to, you don't have to worry about these guys. They're also a little bit complex. We'll, we'll go over that in another video. Uh, but for the final step, you can do your ad budget. So, I mean, if you really want to get after it, you can do your ad budget all the way up to, you know, a thousand dollars per day which means you are going to get this post everywhere in San Diego. I'm sure your friends are going to be talking to you. Oh, you know, I saw your advertisement. Um, but for this instant, I would recommend start your post at $5 a day because once you do $5 a day, the next day you can learn, Hey, this area performed well, La Jolla, we got a few leads. We didn't get any leads in Del Mar. Let's do $10 a day, you know, back in La Jolla. So you can really test and figure out the best locations. So that's something to keep in mind. And then you can put in your you know, payment information and then all you got to do is click boost and then that post is going to get reviewed and once it is approved, it goes out and San Diego starts seeing your home everywhere. So there you have it. That's how we can utilize you know, Instagram, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook advertising. It's really not that hard. You can still get results as long as you get creative with the different platforms that we use every day. So let's say that someone reached out to you because they saw your Instagram post on Pacific Beach locations, or they saw your Facebook Marketplace post and loved the home, or they saw your Facebook advertisement and reached out and said, hey, I love the home. I would love to see more about it. And I would love to get more information on it. Well, how are we going to show them the home? We are going to use software like FaceTime, Skype, or Zoom. So break out the phone and do a little home tour, right? Show them the kitchen, the bathroom, the living room. Talk about how your kids love the backyard or the outdoor space. Talk about, you know, the high ceilings or all the light. And this way, not only are you giving them a home tour, almost like a virtual open house, but you're getting to know the potential buyer just a little bit better, which can go a long way in the long run. Now, I understand that although these tactics and strategies can be exciting, they can also be pretty complex, especially when you're trying to implement them by yourself. 
So that's why I've created a course for you guys on how to get your home sold using these tactics, but instead of just a short video, I'm going to give you guys an in-depth tutorial on how I do it, on not just what to post on Instagram, but how to post it, the best time of day, what keywords to use, what are the best hashtags. I'm gonna talk about advertising, how to go in deep and really find the best audience for your price point and your budget. So there it is, that's how you get your home sold in a crisis. We talked about Instagram, we talked about Facebook, we talked about advertising, and you guys got a free course out of it. So I hope you guys love the course. Go ahead and click the link below. And no, I will not ask for a credit card, just a phone number and an email so I can reach out to you and answer any questions or concerns you're having with the course. Thanks again for watching and we'll talk soon.